You're listening to the PTO Unlimited Podcast. Welcome back to the PTO Unlimited Podcast. My name is Brett. Sitting uh, here with me, interrupting my <laughs> intro, is Josh <laughs> and Alex. How are you guys doing? Good. We have a pretty exciting thing to tell everybody. We are on iTunes. Woohoo, iTunes. We are now across uh, two different streaming uh, medias. Um, you can find us on iTunes. Just search PTO Unlimited in the iTunes store. And you'll you'll find us right there. Uh, and the PTO Unlimited is one word. By That's the way. very important because if you don't put it in as one word, you may not find it. Yep. Yep. Anyways, Alex, uh, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, had an interesting thing happen at work. Not very interesting, but just conversation that came up at work today. I was just about ready to leave and had a just so happened to be looking in one of the girls purses it was open i was uh, searching through it <laughs> and um she uh she's a country girl she she does shooting and hunting and all that stuff and noticed a uh kind of like a not a swiss army knife what are those knives called a pocket knife like a, but it's one of those thick ones hunting knife kind of like a hunting knife. it like pulls open a folding knife yeah a folding knife it was a folding knife and then on the handle it had a bunch of pretty sparkly pink design so i i uh had told her i was like oh i noticed that your i noticed your knife that's really cute what are you gonna do get all prettied up and gut something while <laughs> or look cute while you're gutting something and i know i just we got into the subject of like pink camo and stuff because she also has a can of mace that's in a pink camo like design on canister. it canister yeah a canister do you have a problem with this i don't i do don't you, do you don't carry a knife i don't if you did carry a knife would you want it to be all pink and pretty Yes. <laughs> okay, I don't know why. No, it's uh, a big thing. I don't know. The ma manufacturer's thinking, you know, you get regular camo or, you know, dark colors or whatever for men. Then they want to tap the female market. And so they put pink on stuff. Us females like pink and we like to buy things. Well, that's fine. I mean, I've seen guns and get pink grips, you know, and stuff like that. So. I thought you didn't you show me once uh, a while ago a full pink gun. Yeah, it was. I found this picture. I think it was just on Google of this assault rifle that was completely pinked out camouflage, which you know that's what that's yeah, what no, you it want just your gun to look like. Call of Duty. I'm not a big like gun person. Yeah. But if I were to own a gun, it might be pink. No. It'll never happen. I don't. You I can get anything customized. You know, get someone to paint it up. It's oh. expensive. What type of camo are there? Well, I don't. There's real tree, which is like the newest thing, which I don't personally like because it's it's camo, but it's a lot of the deer hunters use it to really blend in, I guess. But it's like actual sticks and trees and leaves instead of just the blended colors. So you don't like that in either color. I don't like real tree at all, personally. <laughs> So if you were to wear something, it would be the regular old-fashioned oh, yeah, camo. Yeah, I mean, I have a couple of different pairs of... Even like, if it was pink. Wh why would I be wearing pink? Okay, guys, you are going <laughs> on this topic just a little long. I was here. just wondering if you had an issue with pink camo. <laughs> I don't have an issue with pink camo. Uh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, speaking of uh, customization... Um, I want to add to that just a little bit. I was looking in to get a customized controller for Alex, uh, just like a just like as an anniversary gift or whatever. And oh, thanks for the spoiler. Well, it's not going to happen because it was like two hundred dollars for a controller for the oh, Xbox One. Guess I'm not worth two hundred dollars. Oh, sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, wh what about it? What do you mean? What about it? Yeah, well, was there, there like was a, a story, story behind that? Or it was two hundred dollars for a <laughs> controller. Oh. That's the story. <laughs> Did somebody like cuss like did some was that somebody's business or did, were they are they printing that through a website? Oh, uh, because they have. I think you have to buy the controller with it as brand new. So I personally like the the camo controllers. I've got a PS3 camo controller, an Xbox 360 camo controller, and I have two Xbox One camo controllers. And you don't hunt. 
No. <laughs> do does like, it always have to be about hunting? Well, that's what camo is originally. You could be uh, playing some kind of hunting the military. game. The military, yeah. Well, you don't have to like go out. And don't exercise. back me in a fucking corner here, guys. <laughs> camo is just—it's been kind of commercialized. Oh you yeah, know? it really has. It's more of a, an accessory of color just design, a, just and color a style. Scheme. Yeah. I know. I just—I think it's awesome to have a pink gun in Call of Duty because I think it—I just like to tick guys off when you get killed by a girl with a pink gun. That's that's your main quote on your profile anyway. Yeah, you just yeah. got what? You just got beat by a beat girl. by a girl. Yeah, yep. that's what it is. I'm like, I don't li- I don't look at my profile. <laughs> they probably aren't okay with that. Sometimes. Um, I was driving down the road today, and I don't know if I've never noticed this before, but it feels like this year, since it's gotten warmer, the birds have been flying lower and lower to the ground, and they're like darting in front of vehicles. Yeah, suicidal. I think I've noticed that. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if if they always have, and I just never noticed before. But today, one actually kamikazed into my car, oh and no. I saw a poof of flame, <laughs> <laughs> kind of kinda like out of like an animation movie. Yeah, <laughs> it was poof. like, oh, that bird. <laughs> Alex, do you remember the birds in South Dakota? Oh my gosh, the pheasants. No, no, the crows. Oh, oh, the crows. You the mean w- we had a video of that? Yeah, you crying, laughing because you were so. I was hysterical. scared I was gonna hit them. There was like. I can't even tell you how many I've never seen. You ever see the, you hear the the bird movie like the crow or the the birds or well, there's just a bunch birds of birds. It's birds. birds. Okay, well I don't know. I've never <laughs> seen it, so it was pretty much out of a scene probably out of that movie. There's hundreds of birds just flying at the car out in the middle of South Dakota, and Josh has a video of me like screaming because I was like trying to dodge all of them and. We ended up having like two or three in the the grill, <laughs> but there's just all that you see sucks. is just it looks like a bunch of black bats just flying all over the car, and I'm going like 60, 70 miles an hour, and they're just flying at the car, and there's just they're all over the place. I don't know why, it just happened. Right, that's uh, unfortunate. It was scary. So Quite when time. I got to my destination, I got out and I looked at the front of my car, and fortunately, my car was okay, and there was just a small scuff mark with a few small feathers stuck to the car poor birdie and oh. i'm like well fly up <laughs> where vehicles are not you know do what you're meant to do learn to fly. fly yeah um i wanted to get your guys's opinion about something so i've been spending a lot of time in ohio because i'm going to be living there yep and we had to stop and get a gallon of milk for casey's mom mm-hmm. and i'm like ooh. Let's go to one of those drive through places because I've never seen one before. And I'm not talking about a drive through fast food place. It was little. I didn't know what to expect because I knew they did like the big thing about Ohio. If you live in Indiana is they do. You can buy liquor and beer drive through. How lazy is that? Well, we'll get to that. Cause <laughs> that that's one thing I want to know. So I didn't really know what to ex- expect. So we get to one location because we actually went to two because one of them didn't have milk. And it's it's like a garage, and okay. it's two lanes, mm-hmm. and you pull in like an actual not not like a it's like a garage and a house, mm-hmm. and then it's just lined with concessions. It's like if a gas station had overhead doors. Hmm. Okay. And you just pull up, and then there's people just walking around. They walk up to your car. You know what can I get you? Wow. And then like on the wall are the drink cases, like there would be in a gas station with the glass doors. Yeah. And I think one of them even made food. Like it was like it was like a literal drive-through concession stand. That's mm. interesting. But with milk. With milk and booze. And booze. And I and just thought. And that's legal. Yeah. Oh, well, of course they're gonna card you. I mean. Oh yeah, you definitely have to. I'm sure they'll card you. Okay, so you're talking about there. actually like purchasing pur- purchasing bottles of booze, not like uh, no, like no, a cranberry no, vodka to go. No, it's not a bartender. Okay. <laughs> Like no, no, purchasing no. It's like booze a, it's like on the go. Liquor store that has a pull in and pull yeah. out. That that gets into <laughs> That's open. What she said. Right. That gets into like open drink <laughs> policies and shit. You don't want to go to there. Right. <laughs> okay. But yeah. But thanks just, for clearing that up. I mean, I, I'm sitting in there. I'm like, is this lazy or is this super convenient? I think it's kind of convenient. So, because I mean, how how often do you just have to go to the grocery store to pick up a gallon of milk? Without you have to get out of your car, of you have to go well, in, you have to get the gallon, I mean, you have to come back out. If you, I mean, it takes the the convenience store kind of thing, and it, it goes even further. Because if you need two things, 
if you're on your way home from work and you need two things, you do not want to stop at a Walmart, at a Kroger, at a Meyer. You got to park, then you got to walk, then you got to get it, then you got to go check out, and it's a pain in the neck. Yeah, agreed. Um, I think it's lazy, but to an extent. I think it's convenient. If if it's hot outside and you don't want to leave your kids in the car, of course, don't ever leave your fucking kids in the car. I will beat you. <laughs> or your animals either. Um, yeah, that's very true. That's that's a good thing to do for that. But if you don't have any of those kind of responsibilities, get out of your fucking vehicle and go into the grocery store. But th- that's how um, grocery stores used to be in the old times was you would give your order to the clerk and he would get oh, everything they, for you. Some of them used to deliver. Right. Um, that's where my old job, yeah. my I first was job. Say, I was like, I think, didn't you work for someone that did yeah. that? Yeah, my first job, the owner of the location, the owner of the store, did deliveries. But, of course, we had a small town of, like, 700 people, so, but still. I just thought it was it was really cool, and I'm not, I'm sure Indiana doesn't do it because some kind of law, but they should get on that because it's it's cool <laughs> it's cool yeah. but how much did you pay for that gallon of milk it was like four bucks oh okay, okay. Like then never bucks. mind then it's an inconvenience well, no, it's, <laughs> it's still an inconvenience it's that's two gallons of milk but you're burning <laughs> gas while you're getting okay i mean well, you don't if have you get to sit there the for an hour i mean there's someone right there uh, do you yeah. have to tip them too i don't think so i don't know if we've tipped her so in other words you're saying you've not tipped them so maybe you're supposed to be and now you're an asshole it was <laughs> one trip it was one trip he's casey not like was he's driving casey paid for it so i don't know oh, if so she it's tipped her fault? or not oh. i don't <laughs> she's the one from ohio i don't know okay yeah, if i was driving and she said make sure you tip him i'd say okay he's the outsider uh, in this okay. story i'm the visitor <laughs> um do you have anything else to add with that no not really i just uh Again, I had never been to one, and I wondered if you guys had. Nope. Nope. Is there anything like that in the Dakotas? No. You could get your actual booze to go. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? In a to-go cup. Yeah, you get to-go cups. Like if you're at a bar and you're drinking yeah, I, a Yeah, I believe Jack one of the Coke Mexican food restaurants around here actually does that as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know who you're talking but about. But I think it's, they put like an actual seal over yeah, it. Yeah, or something like that, so that way it's c- not considered oh. an open oh, container. Okay. So if it opens up and well, the cop pulls you over, that's an open container. So. Just finish your drink before you go. No, you can like, for the walk road, in and order oh, like margaritas to go. Yeah, I guess. Anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I was at the mall the other day because I needed some shorts because it's getting warm out. Yeah, now. I do too. I have like one or two pairs. I've left. had like the same pairs of shorts for three or four years. Mine have all ripped because of my fat ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two of them ripped. One of them while right I was down, working. Right down the butt crack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I showed my well, that mother was one that. of them. That was one of them. The other one I ripped uh, <laughs> while I was working in <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> and I was on the job, and I bent over to pick up somebody's <laughs> trash and just <laughs> right up the right side of my crack. No, Brett, cheek. These, these shorts, like, I don't know if you remember them, they're brown plaid shorts. He used to wear them all the time. Yeah, I think I do, actually. So it looked like he <laughs> Really? Had, you going to tell this story? <laughs> it looked like he had had this huge fart because <laughs> it just like <laughs> just out the butthole <laughs> and we had washed them like i tried so long to like to, it was it started off with a tiny hole and then just one day just blew out <laughs> and blew out looked like it just had a giant fart <laughs> like i had too many tacos <laughs> my mom found him in the laundry and goes i think it's about time we get rid of these what happened <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to your short story. Well, um, I've been buying American Eagle shorts for a long time because I really liked them. They're good quality. They last a long time. Um, so I've I've gone back in a couple times in the last few years. And I always knew, especially when I first started shopping there, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to buy clothes here forever. For one, I just – no dads should be buying – American Eagle clothes. Now, what I mean by that is I really liked their clothes. I thought they had good clothes. They had a good look. It was a, a preppy kind of look. Um, a but clean I, look. Yeah. I knew that eventually I would look stupid wearing these kinds of clothes for it's like, being my age. It's like at what age is American Eagle well, no longer I cool? Well, I say that your age is still fine. You well, really are trying to think of yourself. like You're going be, through the 30 stage uh, right now. That may be. And the way that... The clothes that they sold that I bought would probably still be fine. However, their image has changed, and it's, in my eyes, and this is not derogatory in any way, it's it's much more metro. 
metrosexual hmm. than they used to be. <laughs> I it's guess, you know, I never really shopped there. It's just a different so. look. Like, you know, the the cargo sh- khaki shorts that I bought were real, you know, big and mm-hmm. kind of, you know, went well now below they're my tight. knee. And now they have shorts that have to say longer on them because the other ones are like above the knee. Okay. So it's just a different hmm. look, you know? Uh, I know. And I guess I, I just never noticed it before. Their sizes were actually smaller than what they put on the. Label. I always thought that too. That with Aeropostale and American Eagle, every time I, if I did go in there, I always went for Christmas specials because they always have really great deals. Yeah. For Black Friday and stuff, there's stuff like I would usually wear like a small, and I have to wear like a medium or a large in their t-shirts because yeah. they're, like, yeah. you have to be. I'm about the same, large. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Maybe it's just the women. I don't know. Or in, he's in complaining over here about them being too well, small too. Well, I mean, that's they're they're. Uh, Jeans and shorts were okay, but it felt like the shirts were. I feel like the undersized. shirts are yes, very undersized. But I just uh, I remember shopping there when I was, you know, five or six years younger. I thought this stuff is okay, and and now the way I see them now, it's kind of like how Hollister looked to me back then. Yeah, like just mm-hmm. a little bit too much. And now that's where I've I think I've never American bought Eagle anything is. from Hollister. I haven't bought anything either. from either. Except for my shoes were uh-uh, American you, Eagle shoes. You know, we w- you have a few Aeropostale shirts. I'm talking about American Eagle and Oh, Hollister. American Eagle. Uh, I have, no, I you had, had, you had yeah, you had shoes American Eagle. But, but you couldn't tell that they were American Eagle they shoes. They said American Eagle on the fucking side. It, yeah, but pff, whatever. You couldn't tell, like, oh, those are American Eagle shoes. They just looked like regular shoes. Well, my wallet looks like it's American Eagle, but it's actually purchased from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> does it have a half eagle on it? Yeah, actually. Yeah, it does. I it looks it. like it's, it's right, right there. there. Yep. Is it? Yeah, and nice. I'm going to tweet this out. Why? And Why? I'll see if anybody knows whether or not this is American Eagle or not. Well, they're going to know now that you just said it. Well, <laughs> don't listen. <laughs> no, do listen. Do listen. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so what about like, um, so is the mall these days, you think, from going to the mall, is that like the hangout like it was back in the day? You know, it's, it's funny you ask that because... You know how we are, 90s kids. Yep. I do remember specifically on all the sitcoms from the 90s, the thing to do was go to the mall. Right. Mm-hmm. That's, yep. That yep. was the hangout. I never grew up in town like you did, Alex, so I, kn- I didn't have a mall to go to. Mm-hmm. So was it when you were a kid? Is that where you went to hang out? Honestly, for me, no. Really? No. Did It was, was that, for my sister. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it. I guess it just depends. Mine was. She was born in the early '80s, though. I so. was. I was more. The hangout here was the roller dome. Okay. That was the hangout. Yeah. Mine was. Which I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I would like dome? to know that. If anybody knows if that's like the thing to do is to hang out at the roller dome, I'd really like to know. So you can tweet that or comment or email or Facebook or whatever. I'd really like to know. Yeah. I miss the roller dome days. We, we we were on a stint like that for a little we bit. We did. We went for a while. They had a, an adult night um, where you had to be 21. You had to be 21, or maybe it was 18. I think it was 18. Um, but, you know, they didn't serve any alcohol, but it yeah, was Yeah, because that would be a great idea. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was never, you know, packed, but they played older music, and it was a good time. Right. And uh, we just kind of fell out of that. I moved I away. Think, and I think it's because I was getting tired of eating it. Well, <laughs> you're not going to stop eating it unless you practice. Yeah, I know. That, that's my number one thing is like falling on the I skate know. Floor. When we were hanging out, going to the roller dome, Josh would, that would be our hangout, but nobody skated. No, no, <laughs> we really? went, we went like, to it, the you're, corner. Yeah, that's what it was, is we would have Isn't our own it? little corner in the roller dome, and that would be where we, that's just the where the place where we would go to hang out to get away from our parents. Isn't that, extent, you know, isn't that really just like the food court at the mall then? A I, bunch of tables. And I guess, but the, there's popular music playing, and if you did want to go out and skate, you could to skate, and then if you did, did the all-nighters, there was dancing, and like they call it a sock hop. Did they let you in without renting skates? No. So no. you had to rent yes, skates. Yes, you had to rent skates. You couldn't bring your own in? You, well, yeah, you could, but you couldn't purchase a ticket. Like, it came, like, you had you have to have skates. So there was, like, okay. a cover. Yes. Okay. Yes, there was always a cover. It was only 3 or $4. Right. Well, how often would you go? Every Friday, Saturday night. Yes, you did. Wow. Yep. That's I how I met you. Fr- yeah, that's how Josh and I met was at the roller dome. If you want to count that being the official time. Yeah. Because we met like four times before that. Yeah. But we never really stayed in contact. But no, that's from like 
third grade until eighth grade. That was the hangout was the roller dome. We got a little off topic here. Oh, either way, roller dome. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah, we did. But um, as far as the mall goes, kiosks. I Screw the kiosks. <laughs> oh, you did you already talk about your watch on the podcast? Your watch battery? No, that can go into the kiosks, though. Yeah. Yeah, so what about this so watch? So actually, that I don't mind because um, basically. But how much is what? Oh, it w- it's expensive, but you do get a warranty with it. Yeah. Um, so basically, I had a bunch of watches that need batteries, and I took them to an actual jewelry store at the mall, and they're like, oh, we don't change batteries. Like, <laughs> your jewelry <laughs> what? store. What do you mean? Fucking do your job. And she's like, yeah, we sell watches, but we don't change the batteries. I'm like, do you know who does? And she's like, well, there's a guy who's got a kiosk down the way. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go down there. So I went down there, and it was like 12 bucks a watch to yeah. change the battery. Yeah. I remember, um, well, when I did it, it was like 8 bucks. I think. I don't know, but it... I thought it was a lot more expensive than that. I just remember you. We go, we went into the jewelry store that we bought the watch from, and they said that they don't change the battery so they said but you could go outside of the store over to the kiosk there this guy will change your battery for you for a price (laughs) and i guess it depends on what kind of watch you have and i mean maybe like the price of it and stuff just in case like if it's an expensive watch i imagine it's you know it'll cost more well yeah they don't want to scratch it up or or anything but i remember it costing like twenty dollars to change your battery maybe that's how much it was and i just forget but because i I remember i came i came back to get him and i was I was like, how much did you spend? And he was like, oh, it's like 20 bucks. I'm like, to change the battery? <laughs> you got barraged by kiosk employees a lot. Well, that's because I'm a female. Hey, do you have two seconds? Hey, do you have two seconds? No, I don't have two seconds. <laughs> or Josh and I, th- the, the, there's like. There's an, there's one entrance we go into the mall. One yeah. entrance. There's it's a right million different entrances to go into the mall. But it just where we want to shop is on that side of the mall. So it's more convenient for us to go to that entrance. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. by Red Robin. Yeah. So yeah. when we, we walk in. in, every single time we try to avoid, there's a massage place right on the corner. So you walk through the first hallway and take a right. And right there on the right is a massage massage place where they massage like your feet and stuff. And there's always a person standing right outside going, massage, massage, massage. You want a massage? Yeah. And Josh, what happened to you one time? Uh, we were walking through there and they kind of stopped us and he put his hand, I think it was a he or she, I don't recall. Uh, they put their hands on my neck and started massaging it. While Josh was walking away, like, no, I don't want to massage. really good, though. <laughs> yeah, except he assaulted you. No, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, we were, like, walking, no no massage, and he just comes up and grabs Josh's shoulders and starts massaging, and oh, he, like, stops good. and goes, like, just kind of drops, like, oh. oh, man, like, he knew exactly which pressure point to <laughs> Oh, it was kind of creepy. No, it it, was it is. It, it was, was very good. creepy. Well, but it, every single time. It may time, have been good, but it's weird to walk up to somebody and just start doing that. Well, that's how you get people to, to come in. It's still weird. It, oh, <laughs> it's very risky to do that. I would have punched yeah, him if he would have touched me. Exactly. I mean, you get someone who takes it the wrong way, they'll turn around and sock him. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe it happened. I think what annoys me the most is, is the girl kiosk. Well, they could have got complaints. There's well, always the one with like the hair straightener and I walk by and my hair's already straight and they're like, Let me straighten your hair for you. I'm like what are you gonna do? <laughs> no, I for- straighten the hair straighten that I can already do at hair? home. I uh <laughs> I consider just wearing my earbuds in. And then I act I like I'm bad. on my phone. I feel bad ignoring <laughs> them because I know they're just there I know to they're do there job. to yeah, they're there. And they're trying to get sales, but don't try to sell me crap. No, no. I'll come to you when I need to buy crap. Right. And well, but I get, I get it. It's a sales so. job. Uh, yes. Uh, so I'll just, I, I have before just put in earbuds, mm-hmm. and literally turn something on so I don't hear them mm. call at me. Right. Just look ahead. You learned your lesson. I could not yeah. have one of those jobs though. Having so no, many people God, turn no. me down like that. Let me have two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Nope. 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 Yeah, nope. Can't I do agree. it. I agree. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to do. You learned your lesson from the homeless man. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a little different, but right. Um, that I'll, I'll never forget that. Yeah. Never forget it. Never forget. So speaking anyways, of four, s- yeah, speaking of four, never forget. <laughs> huh? What? What? The announcement <laughs> of the PlayStation 4K. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that. Is a is a bad segue. It was, <laughs> but you, you, to, you both were so well, confused. Well, because I, I don't know. I don't, you said four, and then I said. Just, yeah, let's go into it. Okay. So, 
Alex doesn't know anything about this. This is her learning it. Yep, I have no idea. You said PS4K, and it, Josh kept saying, are we going to talk PS4K? And he asked me like three times in a row, and I'm like, by the way, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I don't even want to know what the hell it is because you're annoying me with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should first off say I don't think it's been confirmed that it's the PS4K. Well, what is the PS4K? PlayStation 4.5, PS4K, Neo. or Neo. Okay. Either so way, I'm going to guess this is a new console. It's not a new console. It's the PS4 <sighs> with some hardware upgrades. It's an upgraded console that's going to piss some people off pretty much. It's possible. Okay, so Pisses explain this off. to me because I have. I bet you a lot of our listeners don't even know what this is, so, so explain away. Also, we need to thank uh, at Kyle David 85 for su- suggesting this to us on Twitter. Thank oh. you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks for suggesting it. Um, basically, it, it's, it's, it's an upgraded console. It's it that still plays PlayStation Four games, and they're saying that it's not going to make new games not work on the existing PS Four. And Xbox has kind of, or Microsoft has, kind of come out and said, "Well, first Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, said that he wasn't a fan of doing it, but if if Sony legit does this, they have to do something to compete." Mm-hmm. And no. they're already losing. We kind of already lost Alex because she has no idea what we mean. I, I still don't, but I'm trying real hard. <coughs> 4K it's is a different basically <laughs> like a PS4 <laughs> on steroids. It has it's more computing power. Okay. Um, the graphics aren't going to be changing as much the way what's I understand gonna, it. What's going to be my selling point? Let's just say I'm a PS4 person. What's going to make me buy this PS4K? A well, lot of games are 1080p, um, 30 frames per second. Um, a lot of games could become 1080p, 60 frames per second. So, so like okay, optimal. I know what that smoother. means. Yep. Smoother, yep, smoother, yes. clearer, faster, stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, okay. Possible, you know, very very short loading times. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I know. How is this compared to the one? Is this gonna make sales go up even more? We don't. Well, well they it's don't, hard they to say. They haven't said what they're doing yet. Oh, well, okay. I got I got some here. Some documents that were obtained um, stated um, an upgraded o- an upgraded octa-core processor running at 2.1 gigahertz, enhanced GPU, and more RAM. So basically, a faster processor. Yeah, that was a weird buzz. So it's an upgraded PS4 is all it is. Pretty much. So yeah. why is it going to piss people off? Because I'm going to take a guess. I just bought a. Let's just say I just bought a PS4. And now they're coming up with an upgraded version. So this is a totally different console. It's not something I can just download the upgrade. Yeah, no. it's not a it's not a patch or anything. You'd have it's to, an actual it's console, an actual physical console. thing. Yeah, yes. that would piss me off. Well, so. the, I mean, the one thing that it has been said and I agree with is it alienates your most loyal fan base. The people who bought the first one out have been buying games for it ever since. Yeah, so now they're all stocked up on games, and now they have to. Now you have to. Oh wait, so does these the games that work on the PS4 now are those going to work on the PS4K? Yes. Yeah. And they're saying that even games co- that come out after the PS4K or Neo or whatever the hell it's going to be will work on the existing PS4. Okay. But you got to look at it from the developer standpoint saying, "Ooh, we have all this power, extra power to build our game off of." Yep. You know, let's do it based on that, you know, versus the old box. Well, what I'm seeing here is the 4K will have enhanced VR support, and it will also be yeah. gaming in 4K. But still, that's that's gonna piss people off because they just bought this console, as you were saying. I would be upset if Xbox One did that. Well, here was my standpoint on that, and I already told this to Brett. Um, if PlayStation comes out with this, which is highly likely. Um, Xbox will have to compete. There's there's a way to do that. They they have kind of teased that they might do a slim coming up soon. It's very likely that there will be a slim. So, so Brett, being a big Xbox person, would you be upset if they did something like this? For the slim. Hold on. I wasn't done. Okay. Okay, so if the slim were to come out fifty dollars and it'd be like fifty bucks more than yeah, what yeah. it is now and it comes with a four K built in kind of converter. Okay. The previous people that have an Xbox One, they can purchase a converter to 4K for a low price between like fifty to a hundred dollars. Now that would be a smart idea. So you're saying this hypothetically. There's yes, no. Yes, there's no. Yes, this no, is no. hypothetical. Th- that's a, that's that's just what I would say. Like would be a great idea to keep your customers. Yeah, and maybe it's not bring something that's really more. happening. This is just yes, hypothetically. So it's just a thought. Yeah. 
So I mean, if they so but but go back to that question I was asking you. I know that you're not a PS4 person, but you're an Xbox One person. So if you were to take the same thing they're doing to the PS4 to the PS4K, and the Xbox did the same thing, would you be that person to go to be mad, or would you be happy and just jump on it and get the upgrade? Yeah, I think it depends on the price. Um, I like the idea of a slim because I think it's right now it's too big, especially if you it is it's very if big. If you travel with one or you take one on the go, yep. so I, I'm a big fan of the um, slim idea. Whether they change the actual power of it or not, I don't know. Um, you should I guess. you should tweet that to Xbox One, what? Josh. What the, the idea? idea of a slim? <laughs> oh yeah, well, they already yeah. have the idea of the slim. Yep. But adding to it, you know. Well, this isn't going to hurt Sony. They have 40 million sales yeah. in the PlayStation So 4. they're pretty much saying, we have all this money. Why the hell not try this? Why not piss off p- people like, I mean, Microsoft. We have the money. We might ago. as well do it. Microsoft got, um, got people real angry because of the DVR and online only and all that stuff and no they sharing of games. Completely reversed it then. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I know it's, it's hard to speculate until they actually come out with a decision and see right. what Microsoft follows up with, and go from there. So there is a couple new uh, ways of gaming these days, <laughs> isn't there, Brett? Yeah, this was wild. Uh, Kyle actually sent this to us so well again, Ky- at KyleDavid85 on Twitter. Thanks again, Kyle. Thank Thanks. you again, Kyle. So there's a game, a fighting game, a one-on-one fighting game called Dead or Alive. And these two people created a controller that is a bra. So... To play it, you actually... You button mash boobs. Button mash the tits. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know what to think about this. It's bizarre. Yeah, Coming from a, a woman's standpoint, I would not want that to happen. It would have to be an extremely padded bra because if you're sitting there playing... Call, you said this is a fighting game? Yeah. So you're button mashing. I would n- nipples are sensitive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would not want someone just punching my boobs. Yeah, I don't, uh, I mean... Even as a guy standpoint, would you want someone just sitting there like, here, dude, I'm going to strap on this this cool shirt even that has all these buttons on them, and I'm just going to stand in front of you while you play this game on my chest? <laughs> well, I mean, every guy, it'd be, a, it'd be a gamer's dream to play on a girl's boobs. It, well, that's a that that's would be a the only positive thing of it. Gamers is that I they're loveless. They're th- uh, I'm not offending anybody. Okay, I'm sure you are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's I, my take on that is gimmicky. Whatever, it's not going to fly. You're only saying that because it probably you're won't ever even come that. out. Honestly, I don't. Uh, th- no, I don't think it would. No, um, and it's not that difficult to make. I, I, I the specs of it, you just have to know how to wire it, and that's it. Boom, done. That's true. Plus, it is probably not very difficult. Plus, in the picture, and you know, of course, it probably wasn't supposed to be. It's just a D-pad and the four buttons. There's no sticks. Show you a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where the stick <laughs> is. Don't. <laughs> don't show me a stick. So other big things that are coming out, though, is um, that I uh, I wanted to talk about, just to see what your guys' opinions are. We haven't tried them yet. I know none of us have. But what if the one thing that's popping up a lot is VR. What yeah. are your guys' takes on Virtual reality gaming. I have no interest whatsoever. In None this. whatsoever. Zero. Have you have you looked up any videos on people playing? I really it? haven't. There's a uh, there w- there is a game we w- we actually just looked it up because we ordered with our phones. We got a free VR. It'll come sometime in the summertime. Um, but I think it's only compatible with our phones though. Yeah, because they're Samsungs, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but VR, like the Oculus and everything, is this big new way of gaming. And we looked up a video on YouTube that, or like a gaming channel that we watch. And what was that? Do you remember the name of the the Paranormal game? Paranormal Activity. Yeah, it was just called Paranormal IGN Activity. Yeah, I, I saw that. Well, I didn't oh. watch it, but I saw that. You should watch it. It's it's hilarious to it, see it, these it, people play virtual reality Paranormal Activity. Not from their standpoint. It's probably no, not. not from their standpoint. But no, it's funny to see them get scared and fall over and kick things. And you're. Yep. <laughs> it seems like an accident waiting to happen. It does. I mean, VR was is not a new thing. No, no, no. It's been around forever. It's like, been no, but it's be becoming a more popular thing to do now because it can be. You can have it at home and not spend twenty thousand dollars. I remember those booths. With oh yeah, their huge helmets. What was that movie? Um, First Kid. First Kid. Yep. Yeah. Big thing was the VR thing. I don't remember. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. 
Oh, yeah, on First Kid. Man, yep. that takes me back. That's a 90s movie. That's a good It's a very it's 90s uh, movie. Uh, I say it's a good movie. I enjoy the movie. I don't know how good it is, but <laughs> I enjoyed it. We are not critics when it comes to that. No. We nope, enjoy just it. know what we like, but yeah, it just it's fine. It's it feels like another gimmick kind of thing. Yeah. Which almost like, I don't know. Would you try it? I'd probably try it. I'd like it. I would love to try it. Yeah, especially the Minecraft one that we saw at E3 last year. I would love to see you guys play a scary one like Paranormal Activity. I don't even like the movies. I don't think I could play the game. <laughs> I just I would like to see, not even to have something jump out at you, I would just like to see both of you play the first five minutes where all you do is walk through a dark house with it on your head. Right. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be pretty scary. So, so what else is new? Well, um, Bad Boys 3 just got announced. No shit. Yeah. How do you uh, feel about this? I feel excited. I am too. It's a long time coming. It is. I'm just happy they're making a third one. Wait, because so it got announced, but who's in it is the question. Same people. Okay, so Will Smith is going and to be in it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know, I will just use my search tool here. And um, you guys while can you do talking. that, I have a story about Bad Boys 2. Oh, um, they confirmed 3 and 4. Uh, wow. Okay. I, if four happens, I'll be surprised. Uh, yeah, me too. Do you know what year two came out? 2006? Four. four. Four? I was a senior. Well, I had just finished my senior year of high school. Or no, it was going into my senior year. Yeah. So it might have been 2003. It doesn't matter. So what's the story about Bad Boys 2? I just, <laughs> I w- my friends and I went and saw it, and we were quoting funny parts of that movie for like the next six months i think everybody was because and my favorite scene it's probably mine too is when the kid comes to take out Ooh. martin lawrence's daughter oh, oh yes I we just that. watched that the I other day yeah oh. <laughs> he opens the door who the fuck are you <laughs> <laughs> reggie how reggie you, how old are you reggie 15 motherfucker you, you look, look 30, 30. <laughs> It. Who is it? It's Reggie. <laughs> Who's Reggie? <laughs> oh, oh my um, god, I love it. What does okay. he say about like uh, being in jail or whatever? He's like, um, what does he? Oh, being in jail. You ever was, was it? You ever slept with a man or something? He's like, oh, he's like, he. Will Smith comes up and he's like, you know, <laughs> I just got out of jail and I ain't going back. And he's waving his gun. <laughs> <around>. <laughs> he's like, you ever make love to a man? He's like, no. Nope. He's like, you, you want, want to? to? <laughs> Okay, um, so it says it. here, Bad Boys 3 has been put on schedule for February 17th, 2017 release. Awesome. Bad Boys 4 will be dropping on the big screen July 3rd, 2019. So it's happening. I can't believe they picked a date for the fourth You know what one. probably happened is that they're so excited in, about this movie and the story that they have to continue it. Well, yeah. I mean, I, there is a chance that, yes, if it does bomb, that they're probably not going to do I it. I think the first Bad Boys was like 97. It was, yeah. It yeah was, their it sequels was, are spread out It might even far. be 95. You yeah. know what I like, though, is the soundtrack of Bad Boys 2. Yeah. That had some good. great had some music. Some that Nelly. Nelly that uh, may, he had put an album out right around that oh, time. Oh, wait, hold on. Nelly was very had, big um, back then. Okay. The one about taking your clothes off when it gets hot. What was that song? Uh, Is getting hot in here? I think so. That's probably not the name of the song. Um, there's actually a poster already out for, oh wait, it says June 2017. What the, f- what was I well, reading before? Well, you're looking. So, oh, yes, okay. Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. You know what my favorite s- scene, I believe it's Bad Boys 2, is when he's, uh, uh, Martin Lawrence is on the ecstasy. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and he goes to the, yeah, the boss's nice house. Fish. <laughs> you know, this nice is how he goes. Yeah. He goes, this is a nice fish. Big fucking eyes, <laughs> but a nice fucking fish. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> what does he do he's on the phone and then in his robe and then will smith is like doing all those funny faces like don't get <laughs> <laughs> i like i like the camera scene in the oh, electronic the store I can't, I can't even get an erection <laughs> 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 yes there's so many memorable lines in that movie now what do you think of the um movies themselves they're good i like them uh, uh, yeah um pretty excited for sequels lately some uh, one thing i kind of annoyed me in the second movie is some of their bickering just got old well they're getting old themselves no 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 <laughs> not no the they're fighting with each other oh throughout the movie oh no well, i don't I care mean, it's just like lethal weapon uh, yeah they clash but cop movies work i, like I think it's funny well I've, I it's watched a movie. no good it's movie funny. comes from cops that agree with each other all right yeah. <laughs> i watched the first one 
and I think I, I might have actually the watched one. the first one no, I after I it. saw the second one. I'm yeah. probably, you know, I think I'm the same way. First one's real good, though. Tia Leone is in it. Yep. Yep. I just know that. So what other kind of, what other movies do we have coming out? Independence One Day. that's two that are very close to me. And yes. My heart. Same. Um, so we've got Independence Day, which looks amazing. Yeah, it really does, oh. and it's and a shame that Will bringing Smith back is like not going to be in it. Yeah, oh yeah. everybody but candy. Will Smith. Just eye candy. Like well, Goldblum's in it, which I think will be finally he's back in the movie after yes. <laughs> doing um, those uh, what AT and T commercials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but and then we just saw that the the doctor, the weird doctor with the long hair. The weird doctor. Oh, assumed the, to be dead. The scientist. Yes. Oh um, yeah, Doctor Oaken. Yes, he never really was confirmed dead. That's he's, true. He's in it. That the trailer spoiler. See, I know. Same thing. Lots trailer of, spoiler. Lots They've of spoiler. been talking I'm about really it lately. Hoping now is that? Movies. Do you see that as they sh- they should have waited? Yes. And not yeah. Put him yes. in the trailer. Yeah. I agree. Definitely. I mean, he, he was a That's a kind character. of a big spoiler because he. Well, well, for all we know, he died in the last yeah. movie. Yeah. And. They've, they've been doing the same kind of spoilers with, like, Captain America and X-Men, so, mm-hmm. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, I believe trailers are bringing out too many spoilers, but it's really just trying to, who can, how many viewers can they get, like... How just, many more people getting excited? How much more money can we make off of so. this thing just by getting more and more people well, more excited about think, this movie? That's why I think they put him in there, is because it's a nod to the first movie, as if it needed one because it's a sequel. Yeah. But they maybe thought, well, we're not really getting a lot of hype, let's release him in the trailer and maybe that will oh, stir some BS up. Yes, it's not getting hype. It looks great. I know. Anyways, I think it looks amazing. I get the chills every time it other, comes on. What's the other movie? TMNT. Out now, of the Shadows. There's a there's a mix Oots. to this because I, I loved the first TMNT which was, what, two years ago now? With Megan Fox? Yeah. Yeah. Boo. The one thing I didn't <laughs> like about nope, it. Boo. <laughs> all women hate each other, okay? No, 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 no. Uh, no. You're, you're booing Megan Fox. Yes, I you am. Are. Okay. She ruined the movie. Because she was out of breath every scene, right? She ruined the movie for me. <laughs> she didn't. Yep. She, I didn't care one way or the other. Of course she didn't. It's Megan Fox. April O'Neil to me is like the least interesting character of TMNT. I do agree with after, that. Though. After we talk about this, I have one more thing to add. Sure, but we're talking about those okay. right now. Just the so problem you know. I had with the first one is that there's. I didn't even mind their looks. I thought they needed kind of a new look yeah it didn't bother me i know everybody hates you're talking Michael about the Bay. turtles correct yeah. okay i didn't they Too changed much CGI, his look it was a lot of cgi but the action there was, was no actual martial arts or very little it was all gunfire it was just they like grabbed three guys at the same time and chucked them <laughs> you know you know what now that i think about that you're right and a I lot of our old 90s movies it's all martial arts but, three ninjas but it's also people in costume too and that's what yeah. i think makes it better yeah, three Our movies are awesome. These days suck. Oh, it's Jeez, you're on a rant. I am. I do not like that well, first movie. Yes, but... Shredder was cool. You, There's something to say about what was good to you as a kid is always going to be good to you, no matter how bad it was. Right. I tried to keep an open mind, but... I, no, you don't. I tried. I tried. I tried to get excited about it, but the, the moment I saw that Megan Fox was in it... I just, I do not like Megan Fox. I didn't like her in Transformers. I just, I don't, she's there to look pretty. She's in a schoolgirl outfit this one. Yeah, and then I saw that in the, what the hell is up with that? A schoolgirl outfit in a, in a kid's movie? Yeah, it's, is it a kid's movie? Uh, uh, (laughs) I'm excited about it. Is it a kid's movie? (laughs) It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. 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 (laughs) It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a kid's movie. They market it to kids with toys and stuff. I mean, how are you going to market things to adults I mean, adults have to have their enjoyment, too. I mean, yeah, I guess it's aimed at the us, too. The dads are going to take their little boys, and they get to enjoy Megan Fox while the boys enjoy yep. the turtles. Uh-huh. Yep, That's exactly. That's the marketing. That is exactly how it works. Yeah. yeah. No, the first movie, every single scene, Megan Fox is out of breath. Tell me wrong. I guess I just don't pay Even like when she's sitting in the middle with attention. Shredder, and Shredder's going over the... You mean Splinter. Or Splinter, yes. Splinter's go- talking to her, going over the origin of the turtles. She's sitting there, comfortable, cross-legged, in front of him, going... <sighs> There's no reason for her to be out of breath or heavy breathing. I just kept heavy looking at Josh, intensifies. and I was rolling my eyes. I'm like, I want to leave this movie. This is ridiculous. I think it's because they wanted her breasts to move or something. So wait a know. minute. She did probably had a controller on her bra. Did you hate... <laughs> <laughs> Did you hate that one? What? That movie. Yeah. The first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that came out like recently? Two years yes. Ago. 
So I don't like it. Why do you care about this one? I don't. She doesn't. Oh. I do. Me too. That's why I said boo. Yeah. I, I don't care because she's in it. If they probably would have changed her out, I, might, I think she has a lot to do with why I don't like it. But at the same time, I agree with you. There's not a lot of old martial arts in it. Yeah. I don't. I didn't like that it was all CG. They were all mercenaries or CGI too. Or the Foot Clan was mercenaries. They were mercenaries. I didn't understand they were that. Not. that. Now uh, the Shredder was, but what they did with him—he was BA. It was. You didn't like he it. He was like he was fine, but he, they like turned him into like Mike uh, Bay. Like turned him into tr- a transformer. Yeah, he had all the claws coming out of his hands and stuff. And I didn't like shooting that shooting it out. And it was, you know, you look at back at the original, and it was a Roku Super Saki. Shredder. It was a Roku Saki on the roof just kicking their ass because yeah. that's how good he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't it be like that? Why does it have to be nice? Who's to say he's dead and he's not going to come back as the Super Shredder like he did in 2? Well, I know that Krang is in this one. Oh, yeah. That's right. Which one's Krang? And uh, Bebop Tell and Rocksteady. The, the, in, yes. Krang is the brain in the stomach of the big dude. The, the brain in the stomach of the big yeah, dude. Yeah. You, you're such a nerd. Technodrome. <laughs> Yes. It's been a while. Oh, is the Tecmodrome in this too? I don't I don't think it is, oh. but Krang Who's the uh there are there are a couple characters. Bebop and Rocksteady. Yes, they're coming back. The, yes. the Warthog and yep. the Rhino. I do remember them. Yes. And I think I think Baxter Stockman is in it too. Oh the fly? Yeah. Well, oh. before he was a fly. I'll tell you what, I, I will keep an open mind with this movie. I will go see it and then we can go and have an opinion on the we'll podcast a, we'll right a, after we see a it. Spoiler cast. Yep, yeah, we'll have not. a spoiler cast. Okay. Are we done with that part? Sure. I have yeah, one sure. more big announcement here, and this might not mean anything to Alex or some of our listeners, but um, NBC Universal purchased DreamWorks Animation. Do you know who NBC Universal is? I don't, but I know who Dream it's, DreamWorks is. It's a division of Comcast. Comcast purchased DreamWorks. Yeah. DreamWorks was the not as popular as Pixar animation yeah. company. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's actually pretty big news. I mean that. It's Could owned be. by I mean, a cable company now. They're probably just going to do... They were making enough money with the Minions. Well. That's my opinion. Is there ever any th- such thing as enough money? Yeah. <sighs> Depends on Disney. who you're talking to. Disney oh, yeah. owns the world now. They own Pretty much. Marvel. They own Lucasfilms, which we didn't know they bought Lucasfilms. We thought we'd, they just bought uh, Star, Star, Wars. Star Wars. And they announced Indiana Jones 5. Mm. And it's Disney. And it's Disney. And I'm just like, what? Yes, Indiana Jones 5 is announced. Yes, and I'm so excited. Hopefully, I'm excited for it. I wasn't. I liked four. Bull, I you bashed four. I liked four. You didn't like the. Okay, we have this discussion a lot. Where you think I bash something, it's because I'm getting my angry opinion out, but I have to let it settle in my stomach. <laughs> kind of like Batman and Superman. <laughs> yes, good movie, good movie. Don't look at me like don't that. Don't point at me. I never saw it. <laughs> I'm don't. Surprised. I have no opinion. Take my opinion. Don't see it. Yeah, I wasn't going to. Oh, uh, you you always think I hate things. No, I am an old. I am a big old fan of Indiana Jones. Love Indiana Jones. Grew up on Indiana Jones and the old Star Wars. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, I did like the last, the Crystal Skull or whatever it's called. Kingdom That's what it was. Crystal skull. Yes, I did not like the ending with yeah, the CGI the and all whole that. Thing, they and you like Star Wars Seven. And I did like the new Star Wars. They could okay. remove Crystal Skull from that trilogy, and it would be fine. It's a quadrilogy. Whatever. The f- <laughs> 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 However, <laughs> I, I think and I don't want to. I don't know if we're spoiling Star Wars, but whatever. What happens to out. Han? Who hasn't seen it? What happens to Han? I think is going to happen to Indiana Jones in this movie. It, it will. I'm. I'm pretty sure it will. They need to pass the torch. Harrison is why they're Ford making this is movie. Like cutting his ties. Seven. He's seventy-seven stuff. filming this. That's why he looked terrible in four. I thought he looked good. I thought he looked pretty he looked damn good. Awful. <sighs> it was just. I think it looked good in Star Wars. It was a shell of the former, his former character. Well, I mean, whatever. It well, is we'll what just it is. we'll see. We'll see when it comes out. That's a while to go. Well, all right, we got to wrap up now. Yes, guys. we do. We've gone a little long today. Hope we you did. guys can forgive us. We argued a lot on this. Show. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. And That's we good. More to come. Um, we need to plug some stuff. Yes, so, we do. Um, thank you to everybody who is following us, is tweeting us, is listening. We really appreciate it. Very much so. Um, Please. Please tweet us anything you want us to talk about and subscribe, like, whatever. Um, PTO Unlimited at gmail.com if you want to, you know, even just let us know you're listening. If you have something to us for us to talk about, if you want to ask us anything, just do it. Yep. And then uh, go on Facebook and like us at facebook.com slash PTO Unlimited. One PTO word. PTO Unlimited being one word. Yes. Word. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're also on iTunes. Search us PTO Unlimited. Subscribe to us, Please and do. it'll just download right to your phone. Yep. There you go. Yep. 
Uh, that's the same with our Twitter. PTO and SoundClub. At PTO Unlimited on Twitter. Um, my personal Twitter is Brett underscore Wings. Mine is Lemke619. That's L-E-M-C-K-E-619 in the numbers. And we also need to plug our sound bite oh uh, yes our intro song yes um which is great i love it every time i hear it me, me too it gets me pumped good friend jeremy yep and you can find him on soundcloud uh soundcloud.com slash j freehill he's got more music and uh pretty sure he's gonna come out with some more later on so yep and then i'm also on twitter i am cute kitty which is k-u-t-e underscore k-i-t-t-i yep all right well this is brett josh Alex. Signing off for this week. We'll catch you again later. Bye. See you Bye. later. <laughs>